In this video, let me consider one example on Laplace transform. Determine the Laplace transform of the waveform shown below. This is the given waveform f of t. We need to calculate Laplace transform of this waveform. The first step is we need to decompose this f of t into different small signals. Those are basic signals. Then by finding Laplace transform of those basic signals, we can finally find the Laplace transform of f of t. Here let me split this f of f of t into different small signals like f1 of t, f2 of t and so on. Here we can see that at t equal to 0, a ramp signal begins. So I will consider the first signal that is first sub signal as f1 of t which is nothing but ramp signal. So here I can draw the sub signal. I will call the first say, sub signal as say f1 of t which is nothing but a ramp signal which begins at t equal to 0. So this is my ramp signal which is something like this. So I can say this is 0 and I can say this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. This is time axis. And let me say that here the amplitude is plus 1. So as we know, for ramp signal, the amplitude is nothing but the slope of the signal. So this is 0. The coordinates at this point is say x1 and y1. Here the value of x1 is 0 and y1 is 0. Similarly, let the coordinates of this is say x2 and y2. Here x2 value is 1 and y2 is plus 1. Now let me calculate the slope. That is slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So here we can see that y2, the value of y2 is plus 1, that is 1 minus value of y1 is 0. Similarly, x2, that is the value of x2 is, x1 is 0 and x2 is plus 1, that is 1 minus x1 is 0. So the slope is 1. So slope is nothing but the magnitude of ramp signal. So this is the ramp signal. And as we know, the ramp signal is represented as F1 of t is nothing but ramp signal is represented as R of t and its value is t. And it is good practice to represent the basic signals in terms of unit step signal as t u of t. So I can say that the first signal f1 of t is nothing but a ramp signal. Its value is t u of t. So now here this part is done that is 0 to this part. And here we can see that at t equal to 1 the ramp signal has stopped. Here at t equal to 1 the ramp signal is stopped. But here we can see that the f1 of t has begun at t equal to 0 and it is continuing till infinity. So we need to stop this ramp signal at t equal to 1 as it is given in the original waveform. So to stop f1 of t at t equal to 1, I need to add a negative ramp signal at t equal to 1. Now let me add the negative ramp signal. I will call it as f2 of t. So let this signal is say f2 of t. Let this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. This is time axis. So now let me add at t equal to 1 negative ramp signal. So this is the negative ramp signal. The value of this is, I can write it as f2 of t is equal to. This is the ramp signal which begins at t equal to 1. So I can call it as delayed ramp signal. It is represented as minus R of T minus 1. I have written T minus 1 because it is same as this signal but is delayed by 1 unit that is T minus 1. So in terms of unit step signal I can represent it as the value is T minus 1 U of T minus 1. Now by adding F1 of T and F2 of T, let me show the waveform so that you can understand better. So now let me call this signal as sum of these two. That is F1 of T plus F2 of T. 
So if I add f1 of t signal with f2 of t signal, I will get the signal like this. Say this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So by adding this, the signal will get like this. This is the f1 of t plus f2 of t signal. Because when we add a positive ramp with negative ramp at t equal to 1, the signal will become neutral that is 0 and it will continue till infinity. This is the sum of these two signal. So now here we can see that at t equal to 0 signal ramp begun and at t equal to 1 it is stopped. From t equal to 1 to 2 there is a step signal. So here by adding f1 of t with f2 of t automatically we will get a step signal. So we no need to add a separate step signal for this. So here we can see that at t equal to 2, at this point at t equal to 2, the step signal has become 0 from plus 1 to 0. So now I need to add one more signal at t equal to 2 such that the sum of these two signals should become 0. So if we add a step signal of minus 1 amplitude at t equal to 2, we can get this part of the signal like this. Let me add the F3 of T signal which is nothing but negative step signal of magnitude minus 1. Now let me write F3 of T. Say this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So now I need to add one negative step step signal at t equal to 2 that is like this so now adding f3 of t signal with this signal that is f1 of t plus f2 of t plus f3 of t will give this portion of the signal so let me write f3 of t value that is f3 of t is nothing but a step signal which begins at t equal to so it is the amplitude of this is we can see that it is minus 1 it is minus 1 so at t equal to 2 here the amplitude is plus 1 and here the amplitude is minus 1 plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled so this entire part will become this entire part will be added with minus 1 so the resultant value will be this one therefore I can write f3 of t is equal to minus 1 u of t minus 2 because it begins at t equal to 2. So this is right minus u of t minus 2. So as we seen that by adding f1 of t, f2 of t and f3 of t we will get this part of the signal that is from 0 to 2. Now here we can observe that at t equal to 2 there is a ramp signal. I will call that signal as f4 of t so f4 of t is nothing but my ramp signal which begins at t equal to 2. So let this is 0, 1 and this is 2. At t equal to 2 again there is a ramp signal. The slope of this ramp signal is same as f1 of t that is plus 1. So, so here f4 of t is same as f1 of t but delayed by 2 unit. So I can represent it as f4 of t is equal to here we can see that f1 of t is r of t. So here f4 of t is r of t minus 2 because it is delayed by 2 in it. And in terms of step signal or I can represent r of t minus 2 as t minus 2 u of t minus 2. That is my f4 of t. So here we can observe that the signal, ramp signal which begins at t equal to 2 and stopped at t equal to 3. Here the signal is supposed to be stopped. But this f4 of t is continuing till infinity like this. It is supposed to be stopped at t equal to say this is uh, t equal to 3. It is supposed to be stopped at t equal to 3. So now I will consider one more signal that is f5 of t which is nothing but a negative ramp signal which begins at t equal to 3. It is looks like this. So I can write f5 of t as f5 of t is equal to it is a negative ramp signal and slope is minus 1 that is minus r of 
t minus 3 because it begins at t equal to 3. So its value is nothing but minus t minus 3 because it begins at 3 u of t minus 3. So now by adding f4 of t and f5 of t, I will get the signal like this. But here we can see that at t equal to 3, this ramp signal is stopped at 3 and it has come to minus 1. So I should bring this line now to bring to bring this line from positive 1 to negative 1. I suppose to add one minus 2 step signal at t equal to 3. Let that be my f6 of t. That is f6 of t is a negative step signal at t equal to 3. That is let this be a negative step signal of magnitude minus 2. Here I have added minus 2 because if we add at this stage, if we add minus 1, it will become 0. So by adding minus 1, it will become 0. By adding another minus 1, it will go to minus 1. So I need to add minus 2. So now I can represent f6 of t as f6 of t is equal to t is equal to minus 2 u of it is a shifted step signal which begins at t equal to 3 that is u of t minus 3. Now by adding f5 of t with f6 of t I will get the signal from 0 to 3 that is from here to here the signal will be obtained. So now to get this portion of the signal that is here there is a again positive ramp signal at t equal to 3. So I can get I will try to get this signal now. So I will consider another sub signal say f7 of t which is nothing but a positive ramp signal at t equal to 3. It is like this. This is my f7 of t. So I can write f7 of t as f7 of t is equal to it is same as f4 of t but it is begins at t equal to 3 so i can write it as r of t minus 3 which has begun at t equal to 3 is equal to t minus 3 u of t minus 3 so this will be continuing till infinity now by adding f6 of t with f7 of t I will get this portion of the signal but this signal will be continuing like this till infinity. So it is supposed to be stopped at t equal to 4. To stop this signal at t equal to 4, I need to add negative ramp signal at t equal to 4 like this. So let me add one more signal. I will call it as say f8 of t which is nothing but a negative ramp signal at t equal to 4 like this. So value of this will be f8 of t is equal to minus r of t minus 4 which is nothing but t minus 4 that is minus u of t minus 4. So now upon adding the sub signals from f1 of t to f8 of t I will get a original signal f of t. Now let therefore I can write. I have decomposed signal f of t as f1 of t plus f2 of t plus f3 of t plus f4 of t plus f5 of t plus f6 of t plus f7 of t plus f8 of t. Now let me write all these values f of t is equal to so the first signal f1 of t is t u of t plus f2 of t is t minus 1 that is uh, negative that is minus t minus 1 u of t minus 1. I can write it as minus t minus 1 u of t minus 1 plus let me see f3 of t is minus u of t minus 2 that is minus u of t minus 2 plus f4 of t is t minus 2 u of t minus 2 t minus 2 u of 
t minus 2 and fi of t is minus of t minus 3 u of t minus 3 minus t minus 3 u of t minus 3 u of t minus 3 next we have f6 of t is minus 2 u of t minus 3 u of T minus 3 then we have f7 of t is again ramp signal t minus 3 u of t minus 3 let me write here plus t minus 3 u of t minus 3 finally we have f8 of t is minus t minus 4 u of t minus 4 t minus 4 u of t minus 4 so now taking Laplace transform of f of t, now taking Laplace transform of f of t, I can write Laplace transform of f of t is f of s is equal to Laplace transform of t u of t, that is ramp signal is 1 over a square minus here we have it is nothing but a shifted ramp signal shifted by unit 1 so i can represent it as minus 1 by a square e power minus 1 into s that is a delayed ramp signal then u of t minus 2 is nothing but step signal minus 1 by s e power minus 2s as it is shifted uh, step signal Then again we have a ramp signal plus 1 over a square e power minus 2s then we have minus for this it is again a ramp signal minus 1 over a square e power minus 3s then we have a step signal that is minus 2 by s yes e power minus 3s then we have again ramp signal that is plus 1 by s square e power minus 3s then again we have ramp signal minus 1 over s square e power minus 4s thus this is the Laplace transform of the given waveform f of t Thank you for watching.